Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my backyard. Today I'm getting started on the, uh, the first little bit of work here on the home remodel addition project. I feel good. We'll see how this feels towards the end because this is going to be a long one. <laughs> so I'm doing the, uh, the site prep and uh, demolition work for the sunroom addition which will be on the back of the house. If you missed the intro video with all the design stuff, I'll leave you a link to that. Definitely check that out to help make this make a little more sense. But we have two additions in this first phase. We have this large sunroom addition that's going to go on the back, and we have a small bump out on the front for the front part of the kitchen. So back here, this is a full basement foundation, so we want to get that dug and get that foundation in the ground before it starts getting, you know, cold here. It's, uh, this is Minnesota, and today is October 10th, so we are kind of pushing to get that foundation in before it gets super cold. Once that's in, you know, we can work in the cold or whatever, but concrete work in the cold, not, not, not fun. So let me, uh, let me show you what we're going to be doing today. So if I just spin you around here, this is our little backyard area, and this is the deck. So I have roughly staked out the corners of the addition here with that stake and this stake. So obviously everything inside of this has to go, and we need access space around it. So uh, the entire deck is coming out. I'll remove these panels, which kind of shield the air conditioner units. Those will be moved later on or saw at some point over there so they're moving anyway but i'm not touching them today we also have a generator in this back corner which has to go somewhere else so that's got to move and then the, the patio in here i'm going to pull that up as well so we have this stone patio here and this frog pond uh, with kids the pond is not super great because they can't leave it alone so i have drained it once and it's been filling with rainwater but we're planning to remove it anyway. Uh, I'm gonna dig it out when the excavator is here, so I'm gonna kind of leave this alone, but uh, later on, basically, we'll change our patio setup, we'll kind of flip it. So we have this fire ring over there right now, it'll probably end up in this corner, and we'll kind of mirror what was happening with these pavers later on, but I'll be saving uh, all this stuff. And to further illustrate where this is going, so this area here becomes this whole area here. So that will be the sunroom area, which will join onto the house of the existing wall is right here. So, uh, I guess I get to get to work destroying things now. <laughs> so I also need, uh, we're going to be coming in and out of here with the equipment. So I have to move the farmhouse table. I'm going to do that first to get it all the way. I'm just going to set it up here on the lawn. What do you think? This is it. Yeah. It's crazy. Say bye bye. I'm like happy and sad. <laughs> like excited and very, very anxious because once you start taking things apart, it's harder to put them back together. Yeah, this, this, this part's easy. Yeah, I know. But then it's like, I don't want it to be forever undone.
That's uh, quite a bit of uh, bluestone pavers. We've got two more left and then, uh, then we're done with the patio, or the patio stones. It looks uh, kind of weird back here. So I think it's pretty good. That's uh, just about an hour to pull all of these pavers up and get them stacked on the pallet. I do have a few more pavers over here surrounding the frog pond, which I will throw onto the pallet as I'm getting it out of here. So uh, I'm gonna grab a telehandler and we'll get this uh, pallet out of here and get those, what, 11 more pavers into the stack. Okay, next I think I'm gonna start pulling out the deck. So I'm gonna tie it up a little bit real quick. We'll put the, uh, the cooking devices at the front of the house. I'm gonna get these chairs and things out of here. Uh, and then it's gonna be like a uh, bajillion screws coming out. Okay, quick outfit change because I'm already sweating. It's October and I'm sweating. So we'll see how many uh, how many deck screws <laughs> we pull out of here.
Okay, here we go, the last two screws. I have no idea how many that was, but I have three of these. That's a lot. An hour and a half. <laughs> Okay, deck boards are all gone, and I think uh, I think I've underestimated how much uh, work I have ahead of me because this looks like it's going to take even longer to take apart. So I think uh, general strategy right now is going to be to start up here and remove all the stuff connecting to the house. So if I get kind of <laughs> sick of this, I'll just come in here to tell the handler, chain it up, and lift this whole assembly out of here in one piece. Really? That's just sitting here. This whole thing is sitting here? Interesting. That's just sitting on a, on a concrete pad. What's this thing doing? Just sitting. Okay. Interesting.
so everything is disconnected from the house except for these outside joists and I can't uh, get to their whatever nails or screws over because the house's siding is in the way and I don't know why but I've been approaching this as if I need to like save everything so I think uh, from now on we're going to go a little more efficient with this and just get it out of here. Okay, and actually, this is not attached to this section anyway. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get a little more aggressive with this removal. Just uh, kind of get it out of the way. I could spend a whole day just taking this thing apart.
Thank you. Oh, here you go, Dad. Just keep taking your pieces, okay. Max. I think that is pretty good progress for today. Tomorrow I'll get out here and move the generator, but that's really about it for things I need to do before excavating starts. But things look a little different now. <laughs> it's very odd being here. So tomorrow we'll get out here and get the uh, generator out of the way, and that's going to be about it for the prep work. All right, good morning, everybody. After I turned the camera off last night, did a little bit more cleanup work. I started skimming some of this gravel off of here and uh, work on getting this landscape fabric out of here. This morning, I'm uh, looking at doing this January thing and things have uh, devolved quickly as I start looking at this. So my original plan was to just uh, take this conduit off the wall, flip this uh, nine degree pull box around and then run the conduit that way back over to this kind of area. So the first kind of problem I ran into was that this length here would put it somewhere here, which isn't gonna be long enough to go over there. So I would have to extend the electrical, which isn't you know a huge deal, but it's more than I wanted to deal with right now. But then as I was thinking about this, <laughs> I also had the realization that this exit point on the house has to move anyway, because our new structure is going to be out here somewhere. So this can't even be here. So <laughs> I'm going to just kick the can down the road a little bit on this little side project and just disconnect the generator and just put it where I was going to put it over here for storage. And sometime when I have more motivation, I'll reroute and extend the electrical line through the basement, have it pop out somewhere else and come over here. And this is, I guess, sort of a long-term temporary fix because I really don't want the generator near the house anyway. I'd like to stick it like out there somewhere so it's quiet when it's running and we have one less thing crowding up the area around the house. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna kick this one down the road because I got other things to worry about right now. I wanna have the generator hooked up before, you know, it's like winter, winter, because it'd be kind of nice if the power goes out to have the furnaces still able to run. But uh, at least right now, for the next couple of months, we really shouldn't have any issues with power outages because there's no storms. So I'm not super worried about that right now. And it's not super cold out. So it's not a big deal. So yeah, I'm just gonna get it out of the way so I can move on. Oh yeah, there you go, from that uh, poorly designed corner there. Donovan stopped by this morning just to kind of see how things are progressing. And uh, while he's here, he got a little carried away and 
figured we'd get rid of a lot of things off the list, so we're pulling off of all of the uh, the house stuff to expose the, uh, what do you want to call it, the rim joist area. So that's getting ready to go. So a lot of good prep work. I think while uh, I'm sitting here kind of idly, I'm going to bring the skid steering here and start digging out some of the material. Get ahead of the excavation a little bit. I got three bucket loads, well, telehandler bucket loads. It's like, I think four or five of those fills that, which is a yard and a quarter. And we got a good amount of stuff out of here. Uh, I'm finding all of the old footings from things. Uh, that wasn't seen before. And I got these, which were here, but they weren't being used for the old deck. And then this was supporting part of the old deck. And it's not that big or it snapped off or something. So I'm gonna try and pull some of these things out with the grapple. We'll see where, where that goes. And I think that's probably gonna wrap it up for this one. Donovan took off, he took the uh, dump trailer full of the deck, <laughs> or what's left of the deck, to the, uh, the dump to empty it. So I think it's probably going to do it for uh, all the prep work out here. Uh, at this point, probably going to start excavating and we actually moved the excavator delivery date up a day because things are going so great. So we'll take advantage of all those uh, quick wins, I guess. So next time we'll be doing the, uh, the big hole thing here. So I will see you next time. Let me know if you have any questions and happy woodworking or whatever it is you like to do. Goodbye.